We're at our best when we unify under a common vision, when we collaborate toward a common goal. It's what we like to call the power of together. It's what bridges our past to our future. It's what makes the care we provide exceptional. And it's what gives all of us, including the three patients you are about to meet, the promise of an even better tomorrow. When Paul was at Disney World, um, he began having some difficulty breathing, I believe maybe some chest pain. Okay, buddy. Go get him. Paul was transferred to us from an outside medical facility. He had been determined to need uh, a cardiac bypass. Well, um, I had a gallbladder surgery, I think in 2006. Um, when I had the surgery, um, I couldn't breathe, and they did some tests, and they found out that I had an aneurysm. Um, they sent me to a couple uh, heart doctors that was in Tallahassee, and everybody was like they couldn't do surgery. <laughs> I was panicking, because I mean, I, I have children, and when you hear the word aneurysm, it's like, can this aneurysm rupture, when, how? I woke up, I had to go to the bathroom, but I couldn't move. Um, my leg was, it looked like a big log, like a wooden log, and I kept trying to grab it, and I couldn't grab it. It didn't register with me right away, as it, as it should have, but it didn't. And then all of a sudden I said, I'm getting the ambulance, that's it. As with most of our patients that come to the CICU, uh, they don't need simple bypass surgery. If they could just have simple heart surgery, uh, that would have been done at the outside facility. So our patients are complex patients and Paul certainly fell into that category. And so he went to surgery and had a three vessel bypass here at Shands. And then the course that came after that was quite difficult. What do you think? He had several episodes where he that came and went. He had, I think, four episodes where we would have to shock him to get his heart back into a normal heart rhythm. I was a little nervous at the time, but that morning um, they, when they prepped me, um, everybody was nice. Um, also, I had my family there. They did give them, I guess, every step of the way with my surgery, what was going on. I had no, no issues, no problems. The doctors, the nurses, everybody was wonderful. When they told me that I had a stroke and I said, no, I think you're telling me stories. I don't I don't know why you would tell me something like that. When I got to the operating room, the one thing that really stuck in my mind was I looked in there as we were going through the door, and I looked in there, they're, they're ready to rock and roll. Dr. Waters came in, and he totally impressed me because he came in and he was all about patient care. And he got the films up, and he was showing, showing me uh, what the before and after shots were and explain to me, well, the red is bad, and here you can see all this blood going in the vein, or the arteries. You see this on a day-to-day -day basis. And unlike Paul's case, a lot of times the outcome is not a positive outcome. But you try to, you try to give them hope, um, and you try to give them the support that they need. Paul's recovery, what got him here today, is a couple of things. One is his stubbornness and his, his desire not to completely give up, uh, but also just the quality care and the resources that we have available here at UF Health. With my mom passing in 2002, I think after the surgery, I do have a relief that I'll be here to see my kids grow up, graduate from high school, and also have a family for their, of their own. I never thought I would have a, a stroke of any sort, any kind. I, I just thought I was so strong, so healthy, and that this would never hit me. And somebody has to take care of you because you can't help yourself at all. I'm most thankful she's here, you know, that we're, everything is back to normal. Matter of fact, she feels, she feels better now than she did before. <laughs> so currently, families don't have the space nor the resources uh, to be able to be with their family while they're in our unit. And the new tower is going to give us large rooms uh, where the family can stay. They can be there around the clock. There's a place for them to sleep. Uh, so that we can provide that holistic care uh, that is so important. Uh, medicine is good, um, but having the family there is even better. 
The power of together restores lives. Together. Because my family is so important to me. Together. Because I have so much more to give. Together. Because my story can help many other people. The power of together is all of us, patients, families, caregivers, working to build the perfect patient experience in caring for Florida's hearts and minds. So let's do this together.